Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart. Both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press today. I'm going to be showing you my entire Robert McCammon book collection. I've got them all right here. Now, I filmed another version of this video about two years ago. But in that span of time, I've bought some more Robert McCammon books. So I wanted, I deleted that previous video. Now this will be the official Robert McCammon book collection video. So I want to show, let's just start out with the five books that I bought in the last couple months that made me go ahead and rethink doing this video. Um, but before I st start with that, I have met Robert McCammon on several different occasions. So about half of the books that I've got here are signed. I will try to show you those signed ones when I get to them, if I can remember which ones they were. But let's start, oh, and another thing before I get too far along. Robert McCammon, if you've followed my channel and if you've watched my top five favorite author video or my top 10 favorite books video, you'll know that Robert McCammon finishes high on just about every book ranking list I make, whether it's my top horror writers, my top horror books, my top books in general, my top writers in general. He always finishes in the top five somewhere. And as a side note, I've mentioned this before, I used to run all six libraries at the Utah State Prison. I will tell you the most stolen book out of those libraries was Swan Song. I couldn't keep enough copies of Swan Song in the prison libraries to save my life. I was ordering six, seven copies a year per library, and, and the inmates would just, it was the most popular book we had. It, I don't know why. I can't explain it. It just is. It is what it is. Another one of the popular series that got stolen a lot was Bernard Cornwell's Saxon Tales. Um, but anyway, I could go on and on about my prison stories. You're not here to hear prison stories. You want to see my Robert McCammon book collection. So let's start with the five books that I bought most recently. Um, the two books that I bought most recently were Last Train from Perdition and I Travel by Night. His This is McCammon's vampire, cowboy, gunslinging, vampire duology. Great great Michael Whalen covers. I gotta give a shout out to a lot of, some of the, uh, there's a lot of cover artwork we're gonna see that is just magnificent. And this is probably the best of the bunch, the Michael Whalen paintings. Anyway, I just bought these a few months ago. I read them recently, reviewed them from my channel. So if you want to see my review of these two books, just type in, this is how you do this folks. Type in the title of the book, and my last name, Durfee, the review will magically appear upon your computer screen. That's if you're on YouTube. Anyway, these are my most recent McCammon books. Now, I also, for years and years and years and years and years, for 20 years or more, I have searched high and low over the internet, eBay, Amazon, for some mint condition copies of Robert McCammon's first three novels, Baal, The Night Boat, and Bethany Sin. I finally found on eBay some guy selling them for pretty cheap. I don't think the guy knew what, a rare, what, what rare gems that he had, but I got them for pretty cheap, and I couldn't have been thrilled more because then it made my Robert McCammon collection complete. And I've been reading and reviewing these also on my channel, so you can look for those reviews also. So now let's get to the, um, we'll put these down here. Now let's get to the, uh, my history with Robert McCammon. The first ever Robert McCammon book I ever read was Stinger. 
This was the one that got me hooked on Robert McCammon. It's got this Rowena Morrill cover. It's got this great graphic design that reminds you a lot of those old 1980s, 1970s horror movies or horror novels. I just love the graphics of this. It's so simple yet elegant, and it takes me right back to, you know, 25, 30 years ago when I first read this book. Um, and this is the original copy that I bought back then. And that's uh, Robert McCammon signed it for me. So um, there's that. Now let's go through some of these other paperbacks here before we get to some of the hardcovers. We also have Wolf Sour. It's got a, this one also has a Rowena Morrill cover. And it also has um, a nice signature there from Robert McCammon. Um, excuse me. Stinger fell. I have to pick it back up. Another great 1980s horror novel cover. I love that. Absolutely love that. Again, I got this one signed to me. Usher's Passing. Mostly what I'm going to be talking about is the are these dynamite covers. I absolutely adore these old-time horror novel covers. I just wish we could, I wish publishers was, would get back to doing these little mass market paperbacks with these great covers. Mystery Walk. I think this one's signed also. Yeah, that's another signed copy. So anyway, the second Robert McCammon book that I ever read, I showed you Stinger, that was the first one, the second ever Robert McCammon book I read was Boy's Life. I can't get over how there are only about a handful of novels that are in existence in the world that I wish I would have written myself. Not, not this one. Not even this one. I mean, I actually wrote these myself. And I... I would have rather written written this. This is the perfect novel. I mean, other books on that list would be like Lonesome Dove, The Stand by Stephen King, Boy's Life, Shogun. I mean, there's a handful of novels that I just wish I had written them. This is one of them. This was the uh, novel. I mean, Stinger was great, but this was the novel that sold me on Robert McCammon as being a must-purchase author. Everything that he would do, I would get. And my copy of Boy's Life, my main man, Robert McCammon, signed that to me. So there's that. The third novel that I read of Robert McCammon was the most stolen book in the Utah State Prison, Swan Song. You know, I was a huge, huge fan of Stephen King's The Stand way before I read this. So I still have more of a fondness in my heart for The Stand than Swan Song. Some people have more fondness for Swan Song than The Stand. They are very similar in tone and theme and apocalyptic horrors. I also have a little paper back here. Like I said, I sometimes I get different versions of my favorite author's things. So now let's go to some of his other works. Gone South. I love the cover of that. That's a beautiful cover. Again, he, Mr. McCammon signed that one for me. Now I also have two copies of They Thirst, one of my favorite vampire novels. You know, you got the original little paperback here with the great, great old-timey cover. And then the more modern version. I've got his collection of short stories. Um, Blue World. Blue World, both with blue covers. Again, I'm more partial to the old-timey 1980s version. 
Hunter in the Woods, one of his uh, newer books. I've got The Border. I really like this one. Really like this one. One of my, another one of my favorite Robert McCammon books, The Five. Oh, this was, this was dynamite. I love this. Uh, probably one of my favorites of his. And then for wor not only worst book cover of Robert McCammon's, but I might put this as a uh, strangest, not, I mean, it's just b the weirdest book cover ever. It looks like someone's, um, marble kitchen countertop. That's it. That's the whole cover. The Listener. I'm sure there's some sort of theme behind this minimalist cover. But after having read the book, I don't get it. And now let's go through uh, McCammon's Matthew Corbett series one by one. This is, a, this is a mystery series set in, I don't know, revolutionary war times that I really like. Book number one, Speaks the Nightbird. I think most of these have been signed. Yeah. Speaks the Nightbird. Queen of Bedlam. Probably my favorite title of his. Not my favorite book, but if I was to pick my favorite title, I think Queen of Bedlam is just a... It's a, it's a poetic title. Uh, Mr. Slaughter. Book number three in his Matthew Corbett series. And then we've got The Providence Writer, book number four. River of Souls, book number five. Freedom of the Mask, number six. And last but not least, Cardinal Black. Oh, just what an amazing cover. Look at this cover, too. This cover just makes you, I mean, that is just an absolutely gorgeous piece of artwork. Love that cover. Anyway, that is my entire Robert McCammon book collection. So if you haven't read Robert McCammon, please do. He's, uh, like I said, one of my top five favorite novelists of all time. Love everything he's done. And uh, you should just start reading him. Everybody should be reading Robert McCammon. If you're a horror fan, you should be reading Robert McCammon. If you just love great literature, you should be reading Robert McCammon. If, in fact, if you're not reading Robert McCammon, I don't even know if I can consider, consider you a, a reader at all. 